In 2040, the Victoria Point aged care facilities immediately adjacent to the Victoria Point shopping centre were reimagined and rebuilt as the longevity urban community, or Lucy as we prefer to call it. I never tire of this view of Lucy as I fly in on the autonomous chopper after visiting my friends on the Simbi Islands. They wear nice shirts there, but I'm not sure otherwise why they live there. I might prefer this place. So much more to do when close to my orchestra, my art club and my naturopath and the other doctors as well. The setting for this community is next to the shopping centre in Creek. The buildings are not too tall and still have good density. The undulating green roofs make it look like they grow out of the creek. We're ending at the hub where Lucy connects to the shopping centre on the main street. I might have a quick lunch at my favourite cafe, then use my watch app to request to lift home on the autonomous vehicle. I can also request home help on Help Lucy on the watch as well. That's all really good. And I better check my job swap requests, which I can get on the app too. The Village Square is a great focal point. Tonight there's an orchestra concert. I'm playing saxophone. I started learning when I was 75, never too, never too old to learn anything new. The hub is very busy. On the roof is an urban farm with solar panels. There are places of education, learning, and a business incubator. I volunteer, volunteer there on Fridays before orchestra practice. It's a multi-deck car park with electric charging, servicing, and parking for autonomous and private vehicles for shoppers, residents, and their visitors. The urban community does not turn its back on everybody else. Walled and closed with a central private heart, that's so 2020. The design is a cluster of courtyard apartment blocks, framing a network of shared walkways, parks and plazas. Each block can still be secure with its own private central garden and green. The urban community seamlessly connects into its surrounds. <coughs> Everyone looks onto either a shared walkway or a courtyard. The undulating green roofs are accessible and extend down to the creek. There's green everywhere. The plan has many qualities. You can see a network of shared walkways, pedestrians, vehicles, buggies, the village squares and all the end of the shopping centre, the central green opens to the creek, the club buildings along to the green, and there's a community garden on the southern side where are gravel and veggies. The blocks have different ground floor uses, the shops, offices, childcare, wellness centre, meeting and gathering rooms. The housing above changes for each block with both multi-generation with special needs housing and end of life care. Young people and students reside in quite a few buildings. There's a lot of green, green walls, planted trellises and trees on buildings and the spaces around them. There are solar panels, wall cladding, balustrades. My neighbour Rosie, she has a tree in her balcony, I think it's a magnolia, I wave to her when I walk home in the evening. Autonomous vehicles and buggies find their way around, but it's still easy to walk. There are a few vacancies, so why don't you drop in? We didn't know it was 